G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jedi. So this is the absolute weirdest tutorial I've ever been asked to make, but it's probably important because I'm actually logged on to two different servers at the same time. We've got the right hand screen, the left hand screen, and this all has to do with the upcoming event, the gridlock cluster, which, what can I say? We've got trains that teleport. Um, that's pretty much the selling point for this event. We have trains that teleport. Now, you're going to ask yourself the three important questions. One, how the hell do you get involved in an event that has trains that teleport? Two, what mods do you need? And uh, three, how do you get your trains to teleport? So, to get yourself involved in the event, down in the description below is a link to the Reddit post where you can go on there, read all about the event. Please, please, please make sure you know how to signal trains because nobody wants to clear a deadlock on a train track three servers over nobody really wants to do that um on once you've read that you can then pop through and um pop through get yourself whitelisted because we're not actually running passwords on any of the servers what you actually need to do beforehand is have yourself whitelisted so the server knows you're a friendly person and therefore you're allowed to join uh, all the different servers without needing a password so Next question is, what mods do you do you need? And the answer is none. The way this is actually set up is all with scenario code. So the server, when it sends you the save file for the actual map that you download, written in right there is exactly how you what you what your client needs to know to make trains teleport. So there is no need to download any mods. It's all part of base factorio. That's right. In base factorio, it is possible to make your trains teleport. Now the third question you're going to ask me is, how the hell do I get my trains to teleport? And more importantly, can we have a visual demonstration? Of course you can. So, I have this lovely iron train doing nothing important but it looping around and around. If I break this track right here, you're going to see that he's very quickly going to complain that he can't path. Um, and if we copy the instructions I have from this pre-made train and paste them on there, he's going to move forward a tile, teleport from this server to this server, do his little loop, and then teleport all the way down here. Which, voila, I, I, I fixed a problem. Um, of course, this is a test setup, so there are no signals on the track. I will advise you that if you end up doing train teleports like one tile from another and blocking teleports and forgetting to signal everything, you're not gonna last long on the server and you're gonna so soon find out that you're not unwhitelisted, you're just gonna be banned outright. Um, so, warning has been said. We do ask for just common sense. Please, common sense. So, how do I get my trains to teleport is, or how do I set up my orders so the trains teleport is going to be the next obvious question you guys are going to have. So, here on my test server, I have uh, West Out 2. So, I want this train I've got sitting on this little U-shaped track to go to West Out 2. Um, I'm going to use the interface here to double-click West Out 2. And when it gets there, I want it to teleport. So, to make it to teleport, I need to have a circuit condition of T equals... D. That means teleport. Once it's teleported out of this server, being the Westeros server, we want it to come into Smallville. And obviously, being the logic of the way I've set up train stations, it comes to Small Inn. Once it gets to Small Inn, I want it to just drive forward till it gets to Small Out. So once it gets to Small Out, we're out of train track, obviously, we want it to teleport again. So I'm going to put in a circuit condition of T equals t and then i'd like it to show back up on another server logically with the way this event set up with multiple multiple servers you could end up going from you know server one to server two to server three to server four you know across the whole um cluster uh, gridlock event um in my test case i'm we're just going to come straight back to westeros because i'm boring and we're going to come to westeros in two and I don't want it to do anything because I just want it to come back in here and loop straight back out to there. We're going to switch this train to automatic and we're going to see he's going to teleport, boom, over to here, loop all the way around and then go back again. Now, I'm about to get an error from one of these two trains, this one. Yep, um, you can hear the beep in the background. There's actually a text dialogue that's on the other screen that you can't see because I actually blocked the train station because I just don't have any signaling. Um, there is no signaling whatsoever to let extra trains come in here and, and, and sit idle um, or, yeah, to, to queue their way out or having multiple stackers or reverse stackers out of um, the teleport ins and the teleport outs. It's a test setup. Anyway, 
Um, on to the important details that you guys are going to want to know. So over here we have the actual gridlock cluster, uh, gridlock cluster Reddit post. In there, there's all the sorts of details. There is a countdown um, for when the event's going to start. From the time this video goes out, it's going to start in about 12 hours. So you get about 12 hours to sleep, go to the store, get snacks, um, you know, go to the bathroom. Tell, tell the wife that you're not going to talk to her for two uh, two days because you're going to be busy playing with teleporting trains, all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, at the same time, apply to get whitelisted. If you're not whitelisted, you may be able to join some of the servers, but not all the servers. Um, and you're definitely not going to be able to play with teleporting trains. Um, and I also have a quick teaser. This is not entirely released at this stage. Uh, picture of how the servers are going to start off. So we're going to have Nexus in the middle. This is a live URL. As more servers are added um, to the event, this image will change. So you can always save this URL or type it in your own browser anytime you want. Um, and we have the Nexus in the middle and it's going to be linked to three um, other uh, servers to start with. And as you can see, there are different servers here, there and everywhere. The only thing I can tell you at this stage is... As you can see, this server, well, a one by one server um, is a uh, thousand by thousand tiles. And as you can see, this links in here. So you'll find from this server, only the middle section will have a teleport out to this one. Uh, in Nexus, you can have this corner is gonna be very, very busy with trains with two interlocking um, teleportation spots where, where trains can teleport in and out because they're only gonna be able to teleport out from the edge of the map, unlike my test setup where they were teleporting out from the middle of the map, but you know, tests. Um, I didn't figure you guys would want to watch me run across the whole map to show you a teleporting train. Um, so yeah, this is how the event's going to run. You're going to end up with a situation where you need to maneuver a train from this server to that server to that server to that server to that server, to that server or maybe down here or maybe up here. Who knows? It's going to be interesting. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys on the cluster, uh, on the gridlock cluster event. And I really, really hope that you know how to signal train tracks and set up train orders because every man and his dog hates clearing deadlocks. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope to see you on the event and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.